Hey guys, this is TJ. Um, I was just going to quickly make some changes to my profile picture here on, that I use here on YouTube. I um, haven't updated it for a long time, so I was just going to show you kind of my workflow. It's really pixelated, um, but I'm probably just going to be keeping it this same size. So I just downloaded this. This is the actual one from my site, from my channel, and I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So I've downloaded the file. I'm going to open up Inkscape, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into there. Um, so now I've got it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, first of all, the reason I'm changing it is because it doesn't look very good on a black background. So I'm going to draw a black square, push page down to s push that down to the lower level. Oops. And then I'm going to make another square, um, make this one white. Cool. And then I'll push, p push page down to put sink that layer down there. Uh, and I will just... I'm, what I'm trying to do is make a white border um, around this. And that's pretty good. And I can, if I want to make sure it's exact, I can go to um, Object, Align and Distribute. And then I'll click on this, click on this, and then center them with each other. Okay, so that should be centered. Still doesn't look exactly right. Oops. Um, do, do. All right. Well, that's pretty good. That's kind of what I was going for anyway. Cool. So there we go. And I could, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do. So then I'm going to delete this back, that black background, and I'll just select the whole thing and go file. Uh, export bitmap and I'll just export it as image 3042 that should be fine okay I'm done uh, there we go that's so that's my new uh, thing uh, I could also do trace bitmap I just wanted to show you that pretty quick here if I go path trace bitmap I can actually turn it into like a vector image which is pretty cool so now I've got a vector image of my logo which is kind of nice, you know. So I could do create a, a whole new thing with out of it if I wanted to. You know, maybe I'm gonna I am gonna do that actually. Let me make this white. I'll go back and make this blue. Do that dark blue there. Center those on each other, and then uh, I'll just go Control D and lock it and push shift to expand this out from the side do white and there we go so this should be what I'm so I could use that as an option too maybe I'll that's kinda cool maybe I'll do that too yeah I kinda like that so I'll export this one as well and now I'll see which one I use. Export this one. We'll call it this. Uh, since it's all a vector image, I'm just going to make this thing massive. I'll do 1200 by 1195. Sure. And cool. All right. So that's that. Just wanted to show you a quick little update of me doing this. Now I'm going to upload it to my site, and you'll get to see which one I decided to go with. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.